Hi you guys, welcome back to a new vlog. I figured I would start this vlog in the car since this is literally where I live these days. Um, I've just posted off some orders and now I'm gonna quickly pop to H&M because I wanna see if they've got swimsuits. I can't find one anywhere and I am traveling tomorrow. I know, I've not packed a thing, which is why I'm gonna do this vlog so you guys can actually see me pack and all that good stuff. It's so hot in here um, and the car needs a wash. I just did my hair so it's a little bit like poofy right now. Like look at this, it's huge. <laughs> but it will settle down um, by tomorrow. I say tomorrow, I'm actually flying out early hours in the morning. So I'm gonna be at Stansted Airport for about 3.30 a.m. I know, and I've not packed anything. So I'm gonna go H&M now. I'll take you guys with me and I'm gonna go home and finally get serious on this packing because I have never ever been so last minute in my entire life. I'm not gonna drive because I haven't got you guys secure just yet, so I'll be back basically because you guys are gonna fall down. This happened to me the other day. If I've still got the footage, I'll insert it, but it's so embarrassing. Um, but yeah, anyway guys, I'll see you when I get back home in about 20 minutes. I'm gonna try and keep it really, really quick. So let's just head into my bedroom and start packing because I feel like there's a lot more room in here for me to like grab stuff out of that wardrobe and out of my office wardrobes, chuck it on the bed and really, really figure this thing out because it's so last minute, guys. I'm so last minute. I can lay out all my accessories there that I'm gonna be taking with me. So I've taken a few out because I'm gonna be wearing this bag today. <laughs> interesting because I'm not actually going away for too long to be honest it's like a weekend however I am what you might describe as a blogger or influencer and so I really really want to make the most of this beautiful stunning getaway that I'm going to encounter and I figured I would overpack because why not and at least I have a few outfits for the day because I'm sure we'll probably change like two or three times because it's going to be quite adventurous but we'll be having dinners and drinks in the evenings um so I figured I needed to overpack just a little bit um so I've not decided what days are for when I'm just going to play it by ear depending on like the scenery and stuff like that and I think wherever I go during the day I'm going to carry an extra outfit with me. My arm is knackered so I'm gonna put you guys right back down and start trying stuff on. So these are the current options that I've got laid out on the bed. Laid out, they are a bit of a mess. Um, there's a lot of colour and print going on guys. What have I gotten myself into? <laughs> uh, so there's a mixture of different stuff. This skirt I didn't actually purchase for this trip. I've had it for about two months but I've just not been able to wear it yet and it's from Zara and I love it and it's got that rigid kind of bottom bit but it may come in handy so I'm not sure if I'm packing it. I have some cute pieces from Pretty Little Thing which I'm super excited to try on for you guys. I got gifted this swimwear actually in a package that I received so I haven't tried that on so I'm very excited and I just purchased a few little bits and bobs from H&M because you know H&M are good for bits and bobs but guys what do we think of this swimsuit I saw it and I thought this could look nice but it could also not look nice and the bottoms are a size 10 so I don't know if they're really going to fit me that well but they don't actually look very big so we shall see um this is something that I was sent in summer but summer abruptly came to an end so I couldn't shoot it so that may be an option this is my lovely dress from uh Zara that I wore once and I I don't know, I think I wore it for like an hour and I was so annoyed because I absolutely love that. And I have got plain stuff as well, guys. This is like a blouse, which I was thinking could look nice with some kind of bottom. Anyway. <laughs> Okay guys, so this is the first option that I chose from Pretty Little Thing. They actually have these long uh, like tags on their stuff now, similar to like House of CB. This is very, very cute. However, it's pretty short. It's a lot shorter than I thought it was, which is probably why they sent me a size 10. I actually opted for a size 8, but I'm kind of glad that they did because the 8 would probably be up here. I knew that going to Italy I needed something yellow because it's the land of lemons and fruits and vibrant colours, so I just figured that this would look stunning there. This will definitely be worn casually. I'll probably wear it with some sandals or even some Converse or something. And I will definitely be wearing shorts with this because I don't know if you can see how short it is. It's not super short, but it's also not like the average kind of length. I feel like it should be a little bit closer to my knees, but I love the sort of trumpet arms. I 
absolutely love the neckline it's not revealing which makes it a bit more casual so this is going on the yes side okay so this is outfit number two and I'm aware that some people might think this is really fussy but I really really like this outfit I don't know what it is it's making me feel like summer is back and um, even if it's just gonna be for a few days I don't even know I actually don't even know what the weather's gonna be like in Italy guys I've not even checked but I'm assuming that it's going to be nicer than this brown with leaves blowing all through the wind and a gray sky can you hear that so this whole look is also from plt and i love the blouse it's oversized so let me show you how big it is it's very big and also i feel like this is something i can wear again and again this would be really nice with like leather pants black ones or jeans um and also nice to tie here so let me tie it here and show you guys what it will look like <laughs> this will be nice in the evening as well as the day so this right here is my special number because I really really want to wear this to dinner because it's not too tight and I can walk and everything um, but I feel like it's a little bit too long so I'm definitely gonna have to wear heels with this um, not sandals sadly <laughs> um, but this is actually a lot deeper but I've just pinned it because it was just way too exposing for me but it is stunning it's very Ankara inspired very African and I love a good African dress so um, yes guys I love it it feels really soft the material the only other thing was that the arms are very very long so I have this trick in fact let me show you guys now what I've done is tie it all the way in like this all the way. so now you can see the difference in the arms right that's the difference like obviously that detail looks really really nice but it's just way too baggy it's just like gone over it look at that so that's what I'm doing and it looks so much neater I think this is the last thing I'm going to show you. I had to show you guys this gorgeous, gorgeous dress from Pretty Little Thing. So I literally had to get on the floor to show you guys this gorgeous, gorgeous suitcase properly because it's like a piece of art. It's so beautiful. It is from Away, of course, because they do some of the best, best, best luggage. This is from their aluminium range, and this is the carry-on size, or as we call it in the UK, hand luggage. So I will happily be able to take this on my flight with me, and this is actually all that I'm using. And it might look small, but believe me, guys, it has been sectioned out inside so perfectly for somebody like me who's only going away for a weekend um, and wants to overpack for content purposes. Let's just get started with this. So I think I showed you guys there's two sections. This has never been out guys so don't worry it's not dirty it's brand new. I know it's on my bed but it's fine. Um, so we've got like zip bits and stuff. I don't know what's in here. Oh my god okay so this is going to be for my underwear because I think that makes sense to have my underwear here oh my gosh look it goes like that maybe not okay so that can stay out that could be for maybe my white clothes and stuff so my name and address of that if I ever lose this beauty somebody really kind can send it back to me okay so I think this is where all my shoes and hair straightener and that kind of thing will go in here. So I'm gonna be packing these Comme de Garçon Converses. I'm also gonna pack the Strappy Hill sandals from Zara because they are very basic and they'll go with everything that I plan on wearing in the evening. And then I'm just gonna pack my favorite sandals from Zara that I wore to death this summer. And they're really flat and I think they'll be really good for beach and all of that stuff so that's pretty much all my shoes in there looking to put my accessories here so I've got uh, this Machino glasses box with uh, these were from MVMT on Instagram and these ones are Fendi I have lost the um, packaging for it but they're gonna stay in this together so I'm just gonna pop this 
So I have these gorgeous bright pink organisers to organise all my bits and bobs in here nice and neatly. So that's how I want to lay it out, but I want them to be organised together a bit more. So I'm going to go and use this one for all my white pieces, just because I'm so paranoid when it comes to whites. I'm the most paranoid person because I wear white clothes so often as well. I've had a few accidents in the past my whites look good and they will remain good so that's in there i'm going to use this for my swimwear my underwear my socks just all of that kind of stuff i'm going to stuff a few of these in here so i'm going for three days i'm going to take about 10. my face wipes these two eye masks so i've got my gucci belt i haven't actually tried it on with any of the looks but i feel like it's more than likely that it may go with one of them and it may just spruce an outfit up a little bit and i'm gonna pack it in here because this up one of the things that I'm going to do is spray some of my clothes with this Wee Juicy Couture perfume just so that my clothes have a nice smell whilst in the suitcase. Luckily though, on my last trip to Louis Vuitton, I was given a little bag filled with perfume samples. So these are gonna have to travel with me. They come in so, so handy when it comes to traveling. And I don't even know, I've got about four or five in here. So I'm just gonna throw some of these towards the side where I've got all of my hand luggage stuff there. And I'm gonna just take a couple of options. So I'm going to pack my Louboutin pouch, which is going to act as my clutch bag in the evenings for any outfit, really. I'm gonna pack this in here. But what I also want to do is perhaps keep my jewelry in here as well. This pouch is going to go in my bag that I'm going to be carrying with me because I need to have my liquids available. But there's space to fit some more liquids in there, so that should be fine. Okay, you guys, I'm all packed. I've got my suitcase in front of me right here and I am pretty much ready to go. Other than the fact that I need to get a few hours sleep before I leave because the adrenaline, the excitement, it's, it's just all buzzing right now. So I'm gonna take my makeup off. I'm gonna start relaxing. I'm gonna pack my actual Louboutin bag, which is gonna be my handbag for uh, most of the trip. I hope you enjoyed this video of me showing you how I pack and showing you around my amazing, amazing new away suitcase. If this has helped you in any way, leave a comment down below like and subscribe if you are new to my channel and also keep tuned because the next video after this is going to be the travel vlog so i'm gonna look a lot better than this put it that way bye